if you have to make an entry and you're by yourself, that's the freaking last thing you want to do, okay? Um, just so you guys understand that, okay? I know when it comes to like if someone's breaking your house or you know you come home and the door's you know broken open, and you're like, yeah, I want I want to test my training. I'm gonna go get somebody. Okay? Yeah. Not a good idea. All right. The likelihood of you dying, uh, if you're doing the entry, if you're going in, you're, you have a 70% chance of dying. Okay. That is just standards. Okay. If someone's already inside, they're laying in wait for you. Their odds of winning are way higher than yours. Way higher. Okay. Um, even if you are skilled with entries. Okay. You just don't want to do it. The last case. The last case would be you actually going in and, and, and actually having to clear. What would be a scenario where you would have to clear a building or something by yourself? Anybody? Hostage? Somebody else in there? Pretty or close. Yeah, like an active shooter. Okay. Like the president. Yeah. So hostage? Mm. Well, I mean, you knew somebody else. But yeah, so a hostage? Nah, not so much because I'd call somebody in for that still. Um, but if you hear someone actively shooting someone, then people are dying. You know, like. <sighs> People are dying, you know, like the school shootings, that sort of thing. That's a, that's a scenario where a single man entry may come into effect and you guys need to know how to uh, be able to get in there, okay? Or maybe you live out in the middle of nowhere like here and no, no, one's, no one's coming to help you, okay? <laughs> then, okay, you need to have the skills uh, to be able to enter a building uh, and successfully navigate that without getting shot by someone that's possibly laying in wait, all right? Um, so let's talk a little bit about home defense. Um, when it comes to home defense, what are, what's your guys' go-to weapon when it comes to uh, protecting your home? Shotgun. Okay, why? It's intimidating. Yeah, good. Um, so uh, number one, shotgun, yes, that's, that's, that's what we highly recommend. Uh, Mainly because you can utilize that weapon to hopefully get yourself out of a gunfight. Okay, I know, again, it's not the cool thing. You're like, hey, here's somebody broke in my house. I'm going to go hunting. I'm going to go get somebody. Okay, but again, if you can, if you can not get in a gunfight, the better off you're going to be. Because no matter how cool it may be to test out your skills, the battle legally that you will be in afterwards is something you don't want to deal with. Okay. So the only time you actually have to, if you're getting in a gunfight is, is you, you absolutely have to. So like you guys said, shotgun wise, what do you guys do to hopefully scare people off? Rack, rack. Exactly. And hopefully, yeah, make it, make sure it's a, it's a pump action. Okay. Um, so then you can, if that, that is a universal sound. Everybody knows that sound. So you can announce out to whoever's in your house. I am armed. I'm coming to get you. Okay. Rack it. Okay. Most likely unless they have some personal vendetta against you, um, they're most likely going to leave, okay? It's, it's um, natural behavior, animal, animal behavior, is that you know, predators are gonna go after prey that's easy, okay? If, if, the, if the prey's not easy, um, they're going someplace else, okay? We humans are the same as the, the animal kingdom, okay? Same thing, all right? Again, so if we can scare them off, great. Um, if uh, who has a plan inside their house if someone did break in um, and let's say you're utilizing your shotgun What's your plan? You know after you've announced that you have it you racked around what's next? <clears throat> what would you do kids into my bedroom? And there you sit. Okay, after you call the cops well, uh, So a lot of it's gonna be based off of your your house layout, you know where you know if you do have kids Where are they within the house? Okay, my house. I've got <clears throat> my bedrooms here uh, one of my kids bedrooms here my other bedroom's here, okay? So for me, if someone was in the house, I'm going to go out my, my doorway in my hallway here, okay? And I'm, I'm gonna sit right there with my shotgun, okay? My wife would be calling the cops, you know, getting them over there, okay? My kids, they already know the call sign of what to do. Uh, and again, with, it, it's a, again, it's gonna matter your layout. I don't want my kids coming out in front of my, in front of, uh, uh, my barrel. So they've got, they've got a hiding spot within their room that they know that they need to go to. Okay, they've got, we built in these things inside their closet that <laughs> unless you knew it was there, you'd have no idea that they were actually in there. So you don't have right? them come to your room, you have them stay in I place. have them stay put, okay. yeah. <clears throat> um, so I can sit outside, I can have cover uh, with, that, with that framing, okay? And just, again, expose very little of my body down that hallway and just sit there and wait, okay? Because again, I don't want that because my, since my kids' room is in front of mine, 
I don't want someone to be able to get into there. So I will sit there and wait. If someone does try to come down, then, then I'm going to take care of business. But I'm not going to go actively hunting. Okay. If you see someone in the hallway, you pull the trigger. Matters under your state law. Okay. So if, um, you know, California wise, if they've broken into my house in any way, I can legally shoot. Okay. It doesn't matter if they have a weapon or not. I can legally shoot. They have to break into my house. If you leave your front door accidentally unlocked and they come in that way, that is not breaking into your house. They have to break something, okay, to get in your house. That that's what that's what makes it legal. So, but how do I know? How do I know if they broke in? Don't know. Ah, so I'm taking a chance. I would rather not get in that gunfight. What do you do for light? Like, I mean, are you waiting <laughs> in the dark, or do you have a? No, I've got a light on my on my shotgun. So even though. Okay, so even though it gives it away, but it, they'll see the light. But I mean, that's too late. I mean, you have I don't shotgun. care. I'll have my at okay. this this type of situation. I will have my light on the whole time so I can see. Take an idea. Okay. Because yep. I, I, what are they going to shoot at? My, my my half of my face that's exposed. Most likely, they're not going to be that good of a shot. Um, so I'm not very I'm not too worried about leaving that light on the whole time. Um, and being able to identify a threat if it is. You know, what if it's my 15 year old son sneaking back in from meeting at like his chick's house? I don't want to blast him. You know, because he'd be stupid enough not like not to say anything. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna try to sneak back in. Yeah. Okay. So you want to be able to identify that threat. Okay. What shot do you use? <clears throat> what shotgun? Lot. No. What? What round? What double lot? No, I've got a combo. Uh, cause I've got a Caltech, uh, KSG. So I've got two tubes. I can choose which tube I want to go to. Uh, one will have birdshot in it and buckshot, and the other one's got all slugs. So I can I can maneuver back. I can switch back and forth deciding on which uh, round. I, I deem is necessary for the situation. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so again, you got to think about uh, ammo wise when it comes to shotgun wise with penetration with walls um, on if, if that's an issue within your house or is it not an issue, okay? Now, nah. right, so there's two types of entries, okay? There's one is slow and deliberate. What's what's the other one? Anybody know? Of course. Fast huh? and furious. Yeah, so just, <laughs> yeah. one is slow, one is fast, okay? Slow would be for that there's no active shooter inside and you can take your time. Okay, that's, this, we're going to be practicing that uh, today just so you guys can get the basics. I do not want you guys speeding it up until you understand the basics. Once you understand the basics, all you're going to be doing is doing what I'm going to teach you here, but much faster. Okay, that's, that is all. Okay? Again, there's a lot of different ways that people can teach this, um, but I have been doing entries for a very long time, um, and I've seen what works, okay? and I've seen a lot of the standard operating procedures that people use do not work well. All right, just, you'll see it within law enforcement, you'll see it within military. They get stuck in a way and they don't like to do it any other way. Okay, it takes them a long time before they can get out of, well, this is the way, this is the way we've always done it. Okay, it doesn't mean it's the, doesn't mean it's the best way. All right, um, all right, so when it comes to <coughs> entries, biggest thing with entries, it's a game of angles. Okay, it's a game of angles that you need to understand. All right, so, um, like I told you guys yesterday, you know, it's gonna matter on which side the doorway's on is if I'm gonna be using my strong side or if I'm gonna be using my support side. Okay, because I showed you guys yesterday what the difference is and you guys will see it inside, okay, because this is the only time during this training where I'll actually be pointing a gun at you, all right? You guys are all good with that, my, my laser gun? Okay, you guys are good? All right, okay. I need you guys to be inside acting as if you're, you know, not a bad guy. Just I need you to see how much of my body is exposed um, to give you an example for yourself on this is this is what it should look like from from a bad guy's perspective, okay? <clears throat> so Again, if I'm if I'm coming up on a doorway here, okay, I'd already have my, my weapon out I don't want to get sucked in too far to this wall. Why? Not a good angle. Can't move. Two reasons uh, a lot of times when rounds are shot they tend to ride along walls Okay, if they don't impact into them second off uh, gear rubs, okay, if I'm if I'm rubbing here someone's on the other side if I was on the other side, I'd shoot through the wall and just shoot you that way. Okay, so you don't want to give away your position. Okay, so that's why, again, there's no reason to be sucked up uh, too close onto a wall. You can back off slightly. Okay, so again, <clears throat> coming up on here. So if I'm coming up on this doorway here, what hand should my gun be in? Support. Okay, support side hand. Again, if you're right handed. Okay, so the way I'm going to clear this is called slicing the pie. Have you guys ever heard the term? Yes. Okay, so basically I'm I'm slicing the pie from top to bottom. Why am I going top to bottom? Anybody? Anybody? Again, um, there could be bad guys in this in in ceilings. There could be bad guys in holes. 
again, it's not going to matter on where you're at. Okay. Uh, I've been in two, two, two story buildings. Having to clear it <clears throat> where you've got openings up, you got openings down. You just never know. Okay. It's a 360 degree environment. You, you have to be looking everywhere. You can't be just focused in right in front of you. Okay. Someone could be laying down on the ground. You've got to be scanning up and down. Okay. And again, I'm just going to be slicing and then I shift a little bit slicing. So basically that's where you're going to get the pies. Okay. That's where you're going to, that's where the slice and the pie comes in. Okay. So again, I got the doorway here. I'm going to pop out and I'm going to go top to bottom. I'm slicing that pie. You see what I'm doing with my leg? See what I'm doing with my body here? Okay. Okay. I'm not, I'm not stepping out here and exposing my leg. You all see you guys do this all day long. Okay. And then you're going to get shot in the leg. Okay. Cause the guy inside, he doesn't see your muzzle yet, but he sees your foot and he sees your leg. Okay. And he can take that shot. So I'm going to make sure my foot, okay, is angled basically right with that, with, with whatever framing that is. And then I'm going to pop my body out. Okay. You guys will see once you get inside, you'll only see the upper part of my body and half my face. That's all that exposed. And you've got to be a pretty good shot, especially in that type of stressful environment to get to, to be able to hit me. Okay. Cause for me, I'll probably be able to see most of them, but they're only going to be some part of me. Wouldn't they just shoot through the wall? If they know you're there. Well, I mean, once you lean over, I mean, you're only exposing this much, but you know. But when you, again, you'll see when you, when you pop out, yeah. as soon as you pop out and you see them, you take the shot. No hesitation. Yeah. Again, as long as it's a threat. Yeah. But identify the threat, you know it's a threat, you take the shot. Yeah. And you'll see it in here. You, what, what we'll see you guys do, you go like this and you'll see somebody, you go, oh shit. Yeah. Again, the more training you get, the better you get at it. So again, I come out, slice the pie, slice the pie. Okay. I'm going to see, I'm going to go all the way across here. Okay. I'm going to see into this room as much as I can before I make entry. Okay. I'm not going to just dive into this room. Like you probably see on TV and shit because that's going to get you killed. So, um, if I have gone from here to here, okay, you guys, you guys can look, All right? You guys can do it like I just did. Okay. If I went from here to here, Okay, what have I not seen yet? Hard right. Corner. Okay, so what is that called? Blind side? It's called a hard corner. Oh. Yeah, so, okay, so so if I just cleared here, I've got a wall right here. I know I've got a doorway here, but I know I've got, I have not seen in this corner. That's called your hard corners. With this room, I'm lucky. There's only one hard corner. If there wasn't a wall here and I went across, then what would that mean? Two I got feet. two hard corners. That's... A worse situation. Again, I'll show you guys how to deal with that. So if I only have one hard corner and I've gone to this side, I basically have two options. I can just make entry because I know I've, I've only got that one. That's the only spot somebody could be in that room. I can make entry or I can pop the corner. Okay. Those are always your two options. Okay. What's that? Shoot the corner. Uh, no, so, <laughs> so, so your two, your two, I'll show you. I'll show you. So, so again, two ways would be, okay, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go in and I'm going to make entry in here because I know I've only got, that's the only place the bad guy can be. Okay. So again, that's going to look like here. I'm going to go. I'm going to step, watch me step through, step through. See my eye and my muscles. I don't, I, what we see a lot of is the muzzle goes through, then your head goes through. What does that do? That gives that, that bad guy, that, that second, that two seconds to know he's there. Boom. He's got you as soon as you stick your head in. Okay. When you make entry, you have to head and the gun and your head. Same time. Bang. I can take it. All right. So full speed. I'm going to be here. Okay. I can go. Okay. That is, that is me actually actively like taking that corner. Okay. Now, or if I don't want to aggressively take that one hard corner, I can pop it. Okay. So I'll show you here. So if I'm just going to pop a corner, when you pop corners, um, I always, I always just to keep things simple, I always tell you to go low, pop low. Okay. So I'm going to go down to a knee here. Okay. And I'm just going to pop and back out. Okay. Again, well, we'll see because you guys will see somebody, you pop back. When I pop this corner, I'm going to be ready to engage. Okay. Again, my fingers on the trigger, but I'm going to go in threat, bang, bang. Okay. I need you again. I, we always have to identify that it is a threat before we take that shot. Okay. But again, that should be, you, it can be done quickly. So I'm going to pop in. If it's a bad guy, take those shots. 
okay? And then I can make entry in this room because this room is now, I've not cleared this room, right? All right, everybody move into this room here. The shadows are giving work. shadow. Yeah. Oh, but it'd be a house though. I, mean, well, I can shoot you right now, Pito. I can shoot you in the leg because I can see that leg first. Because as long as it's not the goods. Now I can shoot the goods. Oh. Okay? You guys can see as I'm coming across, I'm just slicing that pie, okay, and just taking one angle at a time, one angle at a time. Now, so let's say I'm aggressively taking this corner here. Boom! I see this is clear, okay. Now, what, now where's my immediate threat? To your hard left. Bam! Right there. So I'm gonna come in. That's clear, okay. For me, again, I'm naturally, I naturally just swing right back to my strong side. Again, unless you practice it a lot, it's going to be very difficult for you guys to be able to get back and forth quickly. Okay, but you'll see as I go through the house, if I go too fast, I, I switch back and forth very quickly. Okay, so as soon as I came in here, I saw this. Good. I'm ready to go here. I'm going to see, okay, I got a long hallway. I got another doorway in there. All right, so now, but I haven't seen all the way that way yet. Okay, so switch back. I'm gonna see as much into this room as possible. All right, now, what's my danger areas? Hard left, hard right. Okay, so I've got a hard corner here, and I know this is just a room. And now I've got a long hallway with another room this way. What's my most immediate, what's the, what's the most dangerous spot? Negative. Bad guys like hallways. What did I tell you I would do in my house? I set up at the end of my hallway, wait for you to come down, okay? Bad guys would do the same thing, okay? So anytime you have a long hallway, that's gonna be your biggest danger area, okay? So just remember that. Now, so I've got basically two hard corners, right? I'm gonna pop. So if I have two hard corners, I'm never gonna aggressively go in, okay? That, that's, that's just, that, that's a common way people teach, but that's just exposing my back and, and and hoping that luck, you know, um, you know, lets me survive. All right, so if I've got two hard corners, I will pop them. I will go low than high. You understand? Low than high. Remember that. Okay, just it's very simple. Anytime you're gonna pop, low high. Okay, so when you pop, most likely the bad guy's gonna be thinking head level. I'm aiming head. Okay, so when I first pop in, I want to make, I want to throw him off. Like, oh shit, it's a midget popping in. Okay, so he's gonna make, and if he does take a shot and he's in the opposite way, hopefully goes over your head, okay? So, this is my biggest danger area, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go low, I'm gonna pop it. Okay, clear, okay? So, if there's a bad guy there, yeah. He may have just saw me, maybe shot over my head, because he expects me to be high. But again, I'm in and out, you guys will see when we go live, when you're in and out that fast, even if they take a shot, you're in before, after they've taken the shot, and you're not gonna get hit, okay? Now, when I'm going with the second corner, I'm gonna change, because now he's thinking, I'm low, okay? So then from here, I'm gonna pop high, okay? So hopefully he just shoots underneath me and then I can engage, okay? So again, I saw no one's there, okay? So I know this room is clear, but I still, down a long hallway, somebody could have moved, somebody could be in one of those rooms. That is still, I'm good here. I can comfortably put my back to here because I know there's no one in that hard corner, right? If he right? shot at you, then you know there's somebody there, right? Well, yeah. So then would you just shoot through the wall? You could. I mean, if that, if it matters on what scenario, and if it's drywall, then you could try. Yeah. Because again, you could shoot right through drywall, but if you hit a stud, then it's not going to work. Uh, but if you're in concrete buildings and that sort of thing, it may not work. So it's just going to matter on your environment. Yeah. All right. So I know, I know I can expose my back to here. I know my main danger area is here. So what do you guys think I should do in this, this position here? Enter off fire. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move across and get the cover. Okay, so I do not want to stay in this danger area here. Okay, so I popped it once, but again, somebody could be there now. I know this is clear, so I'm going to move quickly. Okay, going across. Okay, getting out of here. So I know if I'm behind here, I got, I got good cover. Okay, I'm good here. I know I'm safe here. I can pause here for a second and go, whew, 
Again, when you guys do this live, you'll see. You're going to be freaking stressed out. Your heart's going to be gone. Oh, oh, okay? And you're going to want to, you can get to these safe spots and take a breath. Take a breath. Think it through. Okay? It's like a chess match when you're inside doing building clearing. You've got to be thinking on what's going to be my next move. Okay? What's my next danger area? Hallway. Hallway. Uh, well, yes. But the, the clear the, the next left. area I have to clear would be this this uh, room here, okay? This right to the left, okay? This is where it's gonna start getting tricky, all right? So I got my long hallway, everything's clear here, okay? Again, so I'm gonna stay back. Again, I'm going to reclaim this hallway, pie it off, okay? Nobody's there, okay? As I'm looking into this room, I am still actively looking down this hallway too, because in that back room, that's that's a, that's a room too, okay? So we got that wood across there. That's a room. All right. Can you just go by order of rooms. Like yes, you can't pass a room. You pass gotcha. a room, you're a huge problem. So you, know, you have it, to clear each one as you go. But as order, it's never like left over right because of the angle. It's always just by order. It's again, if there was two rooms next to each other, like identically, like one right across from each other, then it's up to you. Okay. Yeah. If one door was closed, the one was open. Before I'd go open. open door first. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but good question. But since these are angled off. It's all. It's gonna be whatever's closest to me first. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I've reclaimed this hallway. I'm looking in here. Okay. But I'm also peripheral. Looking here. Something could pop out here. Something could pop out down there. I gotta be ready. Okay. So I'm looking here. But if somebody pops, I gotta, I gotta be able to engage. Okay. So again, I'm pine across here, high to low. Okay. So I don't want you to stay in this position because this is, it's not a good, not a good spot, right? Okay, so if I've cleared it here, what what do I have left to clear in this room? Entry, hard right. Okay, that's a hard corner still. A lot of you guys will be like, oh, I can see almost in there. No one can hide in that corner. You can hide people in that corner. Okay, you may have to turn your feet in a little bit, <laughs> but we've stuck in people in that corner. You can't see them. Okay, a lot of people will bypass this because they think it's clear. So for me, as soon as I know that, okay, this is a this is a this is a wall right here. That hard corner is clear. That's the only spot I have left. I'm woo, getting in there, okay? So I've cleared here, boom. And I'm gonna take that shot, there's a bad guy here. Now I'm, I'm safe. You know, I'm back into a safer spot, now I can, I can breathe a little bit, okay? So I've cleared here, boom. We've cleared this room, now I gotta work my way back out again. All right, so again, pie my way out. And if you have to suck, if you, if you don't, you have to suck your gun in most of the time when it comes to clearing, you're not going to be fully extended. Okay, you got to be able to shoot from, from here. All right, so I'm going to clear out here. All right, I'm good here. Now I got to re, I got to focus here, right? That's my next danger area. Okay, this is the, this is the worst spot. Tough, yeah. Okay, we can get you into because now you're going to be trying to expose your back to that, to that room right there while you're trying to see as much into here as possible. So again, I'm going to switch back to my support side. And I'm gonna work it. Again, single man is the worst, worst thing you could do. If I had a two-man team, way better, right? Yep. I can have one guy keeping his gun down the hallway as I'm focusing here. Okay, the way we teach that is I'm actually be here. My my second guy would be right back behind me. Okay, and he'd be covering me that way. A little easier to do. Okay, the more people you have when it comes to entries, the easier it becomes. Okay, so we're teaching you the hardest way. All right, so I'm going to. Take on this room here. Now, as I'm going across, once I get to about here, I've seen into this room where I see this is a wall and I see that hard corner in the back. Okay, that, that corner there. So what, what corners do I have left? One corner, right? So what do I want to do? Get it, take it, okay? I've only got one corner, so I don't need to pop it. I can aggressively take it because I do not want to sit here with my back exposed for someone just to pop out and blast me. Okay, so as soon as I see that, bam, again, I'm entering, okay, at the same time, my head and my gun, same time, okay? As soon as I see this is clear, I can go into that corner or I can ride along this way, okay? Because again, I don't want to get sucked into a danger or I can get shot from here. So I see this is clear, I'm going to continue this way. Because this, you guys can come across, uh, come all the way into this room. I see. I've seen that, that corner there. I'm going in, check here, take the shot if I need to, and then I'm gonna continue, okay? But now, again, what's my next, here, okay? Yes, this is still a bad spot because I still have a room there 
that's not cleared. But again, I've got to take it one step at a time. Okay, Nick, real yeah. quick. So the math is, before you choose to commit, you want to at least see the second to last corner. I want to know there's only one hard corner. One hard corner, okay. Okay, I'm not going to actively, aggressively take a room, okay, corners. if there's two hard corners, okay? I will, I will, again, the, the situation, the layout's going to dictate, but almost always, I, if there's if there's only one hard corner, I can aggressively take it to get me out of the danger area, but if there's two, the likelihood of you getting shot within that room is pretty high. Yeah. All right, so again, I came in here. Now my next danger area is here. All right, so I'm gonna see, make sure there's nobody in there. I've seen into there as much as I can, but I still don't see that hard corner, okay? So again, I'm switching back to my strong side, slicing the pie. All the way across, but at this point here, my peripheral can see there. Okay, so I want to try to actively get over to here as fast as I can. So yes, I'm focused here, but my peripheral, if I see something move, okay, I'm on it. All right, so I'm here checking. I'm gonna go all the way across. So at this point here, I'm feeling pretty good because again, if somebody pops up there, I, I'm I, I can get on it pretty quickly. All right, so hey, so he got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm going to this point right here. All right, what do I got? Two hard corners. Two hard corners. corners. What do I do? There you go. So I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna pop one of these. I don't care which one. I'm gonna pop one of them low. Okay. Again, first one's always gonna be low. All right. So, um, I'm just. Gonna, I'm already here. I'm gonna take this one low. All right. So again, I'm getting down. I'm lying. See, I'm, I'm almost putting myself in the center of this doorway here. So I can in, out, change positions, okay? Then I'm popping high. Right. Bang! Okay. All right, so again, once I've cleared, once I've seen here, I can move into this room because I know I'm good, okay? Again, this is another point I can whew, take a breath, okay? Now, think it through, what am I doing next, okay? So now I've gotta, I've gotta take that, go back and, and, and take that last room. Again, like I told you guys, I was the, uh, entry coach for the SWAT team. So we did a drill where it was a two-story building. They had two teams of 14. One came in the top, one went in the bottom. I was the only aggressor inside. I killed half of their team before they got me. All because I just, I'd hit a team, move. Go hit the other team, move. Hit the other team, I'd be bouncing back and forth. There's one man, you? I was, one, one, I was the only aggressor inside. I took out 14 of them, okay, before they got me. Okay, it's, it sucks. I told you guys, it's, if you don't have to make entry, don't do it. Don't do it. All right, so now I've got to come back out here, okay, take on this. So again, I'm going to pie this out, see as much easier as I can. Again, I'm going to still take this as my most uh, dangerous area, but I got to be cautious of it. They move that way too, okay? So I'm going to look here first. I'm going to see into this as far as I can. Okay, I've seen as far as I can, can't see anything else. But again, I'm gonna look there too, all right? All right, I don't see anybody there. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop this again, okay? Um, and again, when I pop it, what am I gonna do? Low, 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 okay? So I'm going down low, pop here, all good. Go back high, My, I'm all good, all right? So again, this is still shitty because they could be in one of those back rooms. It's just something you got to deal with. Is you can't, you can't be looking both ways. My main focus has to be here on still the remaining room I have not cleared yet. I have to just hope that they haven't moved within that house again. If you're a single man entry, so from here, what do I got? You guys can go in there. Go ahead and go in there. Yeah, All right. So, what do I got? What do I got in this room? Hard one hard corner, right? Got one hard corner left. All right. So, if you wanted to, you could aggressively take it if you wanted to. Or you could just pop around, okay? You could go low, okay? I could go high, okay? If I was gonna, again, if I was gonna, if I was gonna pop it, I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna go low first, okay? So I'm gonna pop low or aggressively come in and, and take that corner, right? Questions? 